you are someone who's maybe been trying lots of different things, but you're still not where you want to be in terms of the results that you're achieving, then I think that spending the next few minutes with me on this video may be enlightening for you. First things first, if we haven't connected before, I'm Bernadette Doyle for over 16 years. I've been helping people like you to get clients online. And in this time, I've seen all sorts of things. And when I started out, I was very much focused on wanting to give people step-by-step -step plans, blueprints, almost like real how-to so that they could get the results they want. But one of the things that I've realized over the years about change is there are actually two types of change. So the first thing is what's known as technical change. And this is a type of change which uh, is already a known solution. So for example, if you want to change a light bulb, you could get a set of instructions. And as long as you can follow the instructions, you can get the outcome. It's a little bit like following a recipe. But there's a different type of change, and this is known as adaptive change. And this is where you're looking to make a change, but there is no proven plan. There's no blueprint. It's not been done before. So if you think back in the 60s when the space race was happening and they wanted to put a man on the moon for the first time, that is a really great example of adaptive change. So I was thinking about this. And I was thinking, okay, well, what I help people to do, which is to get new clients, which camp does that fall into? Is it a technical change or is it an adaptive change? And then I had this amazing insight. It's both. Because if, for example, you want to book more sales calls or you want to have a sales conversation that leads to a person saying yes, absolutely, there are formulas that you can follow. There are, you know, there's step-by-step -step plans that you can follow. But when you are up-leveling your business, let's say you're going from making a, a few thousand a month to you want to be a six-figure business owner or a seven-figure business owner, that's an example of adaptive change because that's you stepping into a new version of you. And so even if you know other people who've made that change and shift, there isn't a blueprint for your journey. Like that won't exist until you've done it. And the moment I had this insight and I realized, oh, okay, so what the type of transformations that I'm helping people with is a combination of technical change, i.e. here's the how-to, but also adaptive change. Okay, this is you stepping into a new up-leveled version of you. The moment I realized that, everything changed. And I realized that in my programs, I had to do more than offer people a strategy. I had to do more than say, this is a plan. I need to make sure we were fully supporting them in working that plan. Anyway, I just wanted to come online and share this with you because if you are someone who maybe you've been taking lots of programs and you've been, you know, signing up with different coaches, you've been doing different things and you're not getting the results, maybe the place for you to focus right now is on the adaptive change part of your journey, which is all about you stepping into the higher version of you. So I hope this has given you some insight, maybe, you know, giving you a new way of thinking about any challenges you currently have in growing your business. I'd love to hear your comments below. Let's continue the conversation and I'll see you very soon. Take care.